I think more and more scientists, especially young scientists, are realizing that scientific research and a career in research isn't all it's cracked up to be. Bugs, eh? They're friendly. So scientific research is incredibly competitive. And if you're a researcher, research is actually one of the things that takes up the smallest amount of your time. If the name was based on what you do, maybe it would be Grant Getter. So the question is, should you be staying in research? So should you leave research? Now, I'm not here to tell you one way or the other, that's your decision, but what you can do while you're making the decision is work out the skills that you, you have, that you want to grow. It took me two years to build up the courage to leave research. And during that time, I actually decided to start my own blog. I did writing. It wasn't very good, but that's the point. It's too windy. So you need to build up skills and not only build up the skills, but build up the evidence that you've got those skills. Whoa, bumpy. You're not going to be awesome right away, and that's exactly the point. If you're not thinking about your exit plan from academia from the first day you start your PhD, you're doing it wrong. Make sure you're building skills and creating a portfolio of skills above and beyond your technical science skills. But if you, if you haven't got an exit plan, think about one. So the thing about your career is that it's yours. The challenging thing is only you know what you want to do, only you know the way uh, you want to take your career. If you want to stay in research, then that's great. If you don't, you need to start thinking about how you can make the transition. All right, I've been sat all day at the computer. I've tried my best to get out, but I... Ugh, people aren't meant to be at the computer. And we meant to be out hunting and gathering. High five. I think we need some basil. Yeah.